Tom Holland and Zendaya may keep the details of the relationship under wraps, but they continue to publicly demonstrate their support for each other's talents. Zendaya and Tom continue to grow as a power couple, and we love to see just how much Tom is swooning over Zendaya and her performance in Euphoria. Stick around to find out everything you need to know about Tom and how he continues to hype Zendaya, along with other interesting Euphoria news you need to know about. First, Tom Holland recently revealed the lengths he will go to watch Zendaya on the big screen. Here's everything you need to know. Tom Holland, the actor who plays the most recent Spider-Man, has been vocal about how much he loves and supports his girlfriend, Zendaya, especially while she's filming her hit show Euphoria. Tom, for example, abruptly ended an interview a few months ago to watch his Spider-Man co-star and leading woman walk the red carpet. However, in a recent interview, Tom was questioned about the latest episode of Zendaya's critically acclaimed HBO series, Euphoria, and he just proceeded to voice his support for her. Rue Bennett, played by Zendaya, is the show's protagonist, and her struggles with drug addiction are exacerbated by her family and friends' presence. Warning, Euphoria spoilers ahead. Rue fiercely tried to avoid her loved one's intervention once they realized she'd relapsed in the fifth episode, which was extremely distressing. With the episode earning widespread praise online, it's no surprise that when Zendaya's boyfriend Tom stepped down for a fresh interview, he was instantly quizzed about her outstanding performance. When asked if he'd seen the most recent episode, Tom, who is now in Spain promoting his new film Uncharted, claimed he'd taken all precautions to view it, a loyal and devoted boyfriend. Do you know what? I attempted to watch it last night because I'm in Spain, and my Now TV doesn't function here, Tom explained. So I got a VPN, he continued. It's still not working, so I haven't seen episode 5, but I've heard it's amazing. As you can see, Holland is very dedicated to watching Zendaya and her performance on Euphoria, supporting her in any endeavor. We absolutely love these two. Speaking of episode 5, fans and critics alike were blown away by Zendaya's performance. So amazing would be an understatement. Many have projected that the performer will win her second Emmy for her part on the show based on only this episode. Zendaya recently opened up about the difficult process of filming the dramatic scenes. She stated that she was left with physical scars and bruises as a result of the experience. Zendaya remarked about how the intense filming of episode 5 affected her, saying, It was a very stressful day. I mean, I'm always berating myself, she told Entertainment Weekly. I still have some scars on my legs and a lot of bruises. Zendaya went on to say that she was scared to face the episode in a follow-up interview a few days later, which is fair given the episode's content. Zendaya's remarks come just days after she defended the show against drug abuse resistance education's criticism, Dare. Dare accused Euphoria of attempting to misguidedly celebrate young drug use and other dangerous behaviors in a statement given to TMZ. Zendaya disagreed with Dare, saying the performance is in no way a moral tale to teach people how to live their lives or what they should be doing. If anything, the feeling behind Euphoria, or whatever we've always tried to accomplish with it, is to perhaps help folks feel a little less alone in their experience and pain, she concluded. Euphoria has quickly become one of the most popular, highly anticipated series on TV right now, and with that, will always come some form of criticism. Next up, Euphoria Finale and why viewers were left unsatisfied. Euphoria fans have been left quite unsatisfied following the finale episode debut, but don't worry, this is only the start. In the season 2 finale of HBO's Euphoria, Maddie's, Alex Demi, warning to her best frenemy, Cassie, Sydney Sweeney, is also a promise to the show's fans, who have had their hopes boosted and broken in equal measure over the preceding eight episodes. Don't worry, there will be more. This season seemed like watching hour-long music videos rather than episodes of a television show at times. It frequently seemed to value aesthetics and vibes over resolving viewers' questions or moving the plot forward in a meaningful way. Characters were established and then suddenly abandoned. Justice for Cat, lives were hinged on important story aspects that never materialized. That suitcase. However, as Rue, Zendaya, the show's narrator inched painfully closer to sobriety, the fog lifted and her voiceover became much more clear. After two episodic chapters in which we and the audience in the auditorium
auditorium, observe the events of the series reflected on stage like a twisted funhouse mirror, Lexi's, Mod Apato, play came to a dramatic finale in this episode. It was a brave and stylish decision to go into the characters' backstories in this way, fusing fact and fantasy, toying with perspective, and never quite letting us know if we were viewing memory, portrayal, or reality. Rue contacting Lexi to congratulate her on the play led to a healing dialogue between the two old friends, and then the camera panned out to show the players performing it for the audience, framed in the spotlight. Lexi, as the story's architect, places herself at the center of the narrative as a reaction to a sense of being outside of her own existence. Fez, a heroin dealer, was the only one who invited her in and made her more than a bystander. When the promo of this episode showed Fez sprawled on the ground covered in blood, howling in pain, fans of the character feared the worst. Lexi couldn't bear the thought that the next hospital room she enters, following her father's and Rue's, may be Fez's. In the finale, we see that Fez didn't actually die, but his informally adopted younger brother, Ashtray, Javon Juana Walton, did. When Ash assassinated rival drug dealer Mouse in the series premiere, he set in motion the events that would lead to him being shot by police in the finale. After he murdered Mouse's colleague, Custer, who had turned on Fez and Ash by snitching to the cops, meanwhile, police were handcuffing Cal Jacobs, Eric Dane, on the other side of town after his son Nate, Jacob Elordi, reported him for statutory rape of a minor, Nate's classmate, Jules, Hunter Schaefer. But what about Rue? In the episode's last seconds, she also did something novel. She described her future, not simply her past. She informed us she was going to stay clean for the rest of the year. We saw her praise Elliot, Dominic Feike, earlier in the episode for collaborating with Jules on the intervention that saved her life. Rue is a difficult figure to love, as her mother and Jules discovered after attempting and failing to hold her near during her darkest days of opioid addiction. The finale, whilst not as exciting as fans would have hoped, clearly set up the stage for another season coming, hopefully soon. Lastly, how did Euphoria Season 2 do Cat and Jules dirty? The reaction to the second season of Euphoria has been as erratic as the show itself. Criticisms of the show's inconsistent plotline, and by the end that song, have grown in tandem with every memorable moment that has been memeified online. Yes, we've never been happier to see this cast shine with an entire Emmy reel worth of award-winning moments, but the cracks are starting to appear among all the door banging and Oklahoma meltdowns. The one-man approach to writing used by inventor Sam Levinson has gotten a lot of attention. Without other writers to assist him, edit, and challenge his work, it appears that plot holes and repeated storylines that don't really go anywhere have become the norm for much of the season. Cat, without a doubt, has been the most affected by this. Barbie Ferreira's role has been drastically reduced this season after a breakout performance in the first season. It's unclear whether this is due to a rumored animosity between her and Sam, or whether she's simply a victim of the season's general instability. However, although Cat's on-screen and off-screen difficulties have dominated the news in recent weeks, little has been reported about Jules, another key character who has been soiled by season two. Another memification isn't always a sign of good writing. It's telling that Jules hasn't gone viral like Cassie or Maddie this time. When Euphoria initially aired, there was a case to be made for both Hunter Schaefer and Zendaya receiving Emmys, despite the fact that it was her first acting performance. This wasn't the case for season two, unfortunately. In season two, instead of finding newer and healthier intimacies, Jules and Rue took a much more poisoned route, unraveling the mix of addiction and codependency that defines so much of their relationship. In theory, there's nothing wrong with that, just as there's nothing wrong with them splitting up because of new love interests. You may argue all you want that Jules and Rue were destined to be together, but teens are messy, and even more importantly, Elliot is cute. The bigger issue is that Jules is virtually completely absent for the whole of this season, which means that her entire storyline amounts to this strange love triangle and basically nothing else. Jules is without a doubt one of the most interesting and captivating characters. It's unfortunate her story in season two was so minimal, but hopefully this was planned, and in season three, we'll see more from her. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about Tom Holland and how he revealed he will go to various lengths just to be able to tune in to Euphoria, where his girlfriend Zendaya stars as the main character.